All right, so we got the Childish Terror of Wizpig designing for nostalgia. That's a great video. Listen. Listen, I grew up, I grew up on uh, Diddy Kong Racing. We'll turn down a little bit right here. I grew up on Diddy Kong Racing, one of my favorite games ever. Uh, Wiz Pig was an absolute so, diabolical Fangamer demon. Came out with these official pins by Rare for Timber the Tiger and Banjo the Bear in carts. They're a part of the Rare Hey, Banjo brand, and Kazooie, he was cracked in, uh, spin, he was so cracked in, uh, in Diddy Kong Racing, bro. Really cute, okay? Like, I, I'm definitely a figure guy before I'm a pin guy, but something about these just makes me really Hey, I like this, though. He got, the, he got the music in the sure, background. I'm nostalgic for Rare's brands in general. Hard to not be if you owned a Nintendo 64, but it's I need, these Hey, I need a Nintendo 64 game, ASAP, bro. Racing that really put me back into the mood of my childhood, and I don't think that's a mistake. Diddy Kong Racing, simple as it may be, is thoroughly dedicated to the simple idea of nostalgia. True. Not in the sense of references and glorification of the past that we usually associate with the concept. Diddy Kong Racing dedicates every fiber of its being to the wonder, mystique, playfulness, and challenges of being a kid. <laughs> Hey, Miss, listen, if you ever played Diddy Kong Racing growing up, you're a also, legend, bro. I figured bro. I'd mentioned I'm uh, actually not sponsored for this. I just like the pins. They, they made me think about this topic. I mean, if, if you want to sponsor me, I'm, I'm totally open. Hey, man, sponsor, hey, sponsor him. Words, but, uh, God, Tipper just looks so good, doesn't he? Yeah. He does look good, I can't lie. I never use him, though. Diddy Kong Racing's a game with a fun development history. I used... It first began oh, life I as I a used time travel-themed real-time strategy uh, game featuring cavemen, before eventually transitioning into a game inspired by the different lands and pavilions of Walt Disney World, called Wild Cartoon Really? Kingdom. I didn't know that. And it's that base and feeling... Oh my god, y'all remember this game? ...of being in a theme park that Diddy Kong Racing absolutely excels. Oh capturing. my god! The game is almost excessively cutesy. Bright and vibrant colors around go, every Pipsy. corner. Different themed worlds with their own lobbies and terrain. Goofy mascot characters wandering around to interact with. Hi there. Probably P -P. the most melodically driven and bouncy soundtrack that David Wise has ever put out. The hey, David Wise, you're a legend, bro. Call you kid. Well done, kid. Luck, kid. Goodbye, kid. Every bit <laughs> of Diddy Kong Racing is this childish reverie. Exploring cool concepts like pirates and dinosaurs and genies. But and that's Christmas what made it amazing. Oh, remember the coins? The oh my still god. Competitive environment. Timber Island is just an all around great hub connecting to even better race courses and gives off this boundless and sincere joy of infinite possibilities Bro, and discovery. Oh man, look at this. You know, that special feeling where you look at a waterfall and you go, oh yeah. There is something behind it. There is something behind it, bro. I didn't it. know that, bro. I didn't the know that. Like, just so listen, bro. Earnest we would accidentally find stuff it's in this game, bro. to have a blast driving, flying, and Hi. flying around. And the game is all You guys know like that little sign on the beach? Bro, we had Diddy Kong Racing for but years, and when you hit the pig. sign... I used to be scared of Wiz Pig growing up. That Wiz Pig was a menace, bro. Diabolical demon. <laughs> right from the start of the game, you're introduced to Wiz Pig, an alien wizard pig who goes to planets, wrecks up the place for fun, <laughs> and then leaves to do it again. And if that sounds really stupid, that's because <laughs> it's really stupid. Wizpig doesn't have any sort of brilliant dialogue, smart backstory, or he just cool big. gameplay function to him. He's a bipedal hog who runs real good and trips over logs a lot. There's really only one thing hey, that Wizpig has him, to his bro. name. And outside of rock-solid gameplay, it's perhaps the most important aspect that holds Diddy Kong Racing together. Presence. This sinister swine has brainwashed four of the island's guardians to do his bidding. Awoken Taj the genie from a 50-year slumber, sealed up the Time Lord TT's beloved racetracks. But most importantly, hey, TT, go. he faced the island's champion, Drumstick. Drumstick, in a Drumstick was a fitness. menace. 
a race that drumstick Yo. would never return from. Yo. The very first thing you see in DKR's adventure mode is Whizpig's ugly mug, a monument to himself. You have to like unlock his face Timber or whatever. Island. Billowing with dark smoke. Yo, back then, when I used to play with my friends, you, you, weren't al you weren't allowed to use TT and or drumstick. You have fun racing your friends. All of your trophies and rewards are made in Whizpig's image. The Horrid Hog has faced down the best you could offer, destroyed them, and is so far above your level that he won't even acknowledge you. <laughs> yeah. You're not even worth humiliating. <laughs> <laughs> but he was easy though. I'd be him first try. His pig's towering superiority that all of Diddy Kong Racing is built off of. You're not as good as Drumstick was. You don't have the skill needed to battle the boar, but you've got the spirit and you can get there. As anyone back in the day can attest, hey. Diddy Kong Racing is not an easy game. It's not. At least compared to its contemporaries. But oh my it god, knows Star Fox, that go to games. you up for the entire game to take on its challenges. The entirety of Diddy Kong Racing's adventure mode is a sort of training arc. The player needing to hone their skills through yep. all the locales it, the of whole, Timber Island. You're basically training for Whizpick at the end, bro. The bully messing up the joint. Silver coin challenges and races with Taj train the player in pathfinding, getting past obstacles while avoiding bonking into walls. I'm real. Boss races show the kind of imposing figure. I like the boss races, bro. And unlock but bro, I was so trash like in the planes, bro. Races steadily get harder. The player having to use the techniques they learn to keep up on tracks with tighter turns yeah. and more cramped corridors. Yep. And with when you, every world when you were playing cleared, the player on Nintendo 64, you got the uh, amulet. Use like the side. down more of Whizpig's monument and revealing his fleshy, mortal underside. The player can see with every piece just how much closer they are to the final boss, and realize that he's not an invincible pillar of excellence. Whizpig can bleed. You can do it. Go for it. <laughs> but unlike bro, a TT, lot of bosses oh my of his God, era, TT was Pig won't just roll with over and Pig, take bro. it. You've got all these skills to beat him now, and he's going to make sure you use all of them. <laughs> Y'all know how many times I broke like the little, very simple track. the little it's knob on the Nintendo 64 trailer. Uh, controller, sorry. No items. I, mean, I got no the sleep, so I'm tired, y'all. Sorry about that. Wiz Pig of and hammering on the accelerator to yep. get the most out each boost. But it's beatable. There is but, no bro. way you could have been this guy at the start of your journey. I he did! He climbed the literal mountain of Whizpig, <laughs> and now, <laughs> he's just a bully that you can put in his Bro, place. I beat him! Nothing left to do but watch him throw a tantrum and, then, and, and then, run home crying. Listen, y'all, I thought it was over. Turns out, there's like a little, there's like a little, like a little board on a beach, and if but you hit the board... Then bombs the no Whizpig party, so... You know what? Screw that guy. Let's go to his house and kick his ass. <laughs> After earning the four golden Whizpig trophies and taking away the last little accomplishment he had left on Timber Island, you blast off to Whizpig's home planet. Future Funland. This Future is fun Lair's victory lap. Four brand new courses. And we didn't not even notice until later. Everything else the player has seen before. Featuring the sharpest of turns, the narrowest of passages, the Death Star Trench Run just because it's cool, and some of the most colorful environments, the already not, bro, incredibly vibrant game. Y'all, we didn't even know that. I didn't even know point, that. You're well equipped to handle these tough tracks, able to feel just how much you've grown since the early races of Dino Domain. Whizpig himself returns for a rematch, and while the death race he's set up for you is treacherous Bro, and has a lot terrible. of lasers, he doesn't require nearly the precision that the foot race on this man Timber is Island absolutely needed. washed. He's big, he's blastable with plenty of rockets yep. littered around the track. Light him up, yep. And really, the player has so many advantages between items, barrel rolls, and close corner cutting 
that this is their race to lose. It's like, it's literally, Biggs. like, bro, he was terrible to, the second time. Uh, the bully's level and now get to revel at just word. how high you've grown while he barrels helplessly through space. <laughs> Terrible whiz pig, you went out bad, you bro. Find him challenging enough to learn or relatively simple, it's a satisfying finale to a long, long string of races. I agree, I agree. I agree. That growth is the heart of what makes Diddy Kong Racing so memorable. <laughs> We're all a bit clumsy as kids. I wasn't. I, hey, I never us. fell when I was a we kid. We have seemingly infinite time to play around, but any challenge seems terrifyingly daunting. Whizpig is that challenge personified. Yep. He's probably the dumbest villain concept you could ask for, but he's in your face. He's better <gasps> True. than you, and he's scary. It seems like way too much to handle. But in playing with your friends, in learning and growing, you can take on that really scary pig and realize, oh, that wasn't so and bad. And that's after how all. I beat him, y'all. Alien I literally pig beat him by stupid. literally getting in front of him. Huh. And, the, and, and after the, that point, <laughs> in the last this lap. pig is old news. Something that might still be a little <laughs> tough, pig deemed to be but a loser. You can handle him just fine and get back to playing with your friends like you wanna. When you beat Whiz Pig. And grow up a little and get to appreciate Facts. all the work that went into Hey, I thought I was the best one in the point. house. Now, I know I'm saying, oh wow, getting good at a video game and beating a boss means you're maturing. So true, so brave. But it's how Diddy Kong Racing goes about highlighting it that makes it so remarkable. Everything from the presentation to the music to the track design to the progression. I can't, to bro, the I love the tracks on this, bro. Especially like the uh, the snow tracks. Oh my god! Such a vivid portrait of childhood. Bro, the snow tracks, bro. Look at this, bro. Perfect, bro. Personal experience. I love the snow tracks, bro. Racing is the fun challenge and triumph of being a kid. Plain and simple. And this total dork of a villain steps up to be imposing through the process. Sorry to break the party, worms, but I had to say goodbye. It's been a long time since DKR has been able to be enjoyed. The original was pulled off of store shelves in 2001 because one of its cast members decided to have a bad fur day. Its DS remake wasn't nearly as warmly received due to a lot of gimmicky alterations. Bumper went to prison. Oh, no. The game itself is in a legal purgatory where Rare owns most of the game, but Nintendo owns the starring character and the name. And Crunch. <laughs> but I sincerely hope. Somehow, bro, hey, we can I'm gonna tell you something. Nobody used Crunch. Generation nobody Timber used Island Crunch, bro. Overcome nobody. The of Whizpig. Because no matter how old you are or when you experience it, that savage swine will always show. Hall of Fame how just Nutella for nuisance, bro. Like, I can't even say nothing about him. Finish! Yes, sir. And the music absolutely hit different, bro. Oh, you know we do let the we're gonna let the music go crazy. Oh man! Listen, if you guys haven't listen. Nostalgia, just pure nostalgia running through my body. Like I say, listen, if you guys haven't played Nintendo, uh, I said Nintendo. Well, yeah, Nintendo. If you guys haven't played um, Diddy Kong Racing ever before, listen, you missed out. I mean, you can still play it now. I mean, you could probably still feel the same joy that I felt years ago. But, bro, this game, absolutely amazing. Uh, one of my favorite games ever of all time. And, um, yeah, man, hopefully... I hope you get to play it in the next lifetime. But other than that, comment down below what do you guys think about this video. I just had a little nostalgia moment right there. Um, see you guys later for the next one. I'm out. And...